Okay, so if you saw the last two weeks videos, you'll have seen I shared a favourite lunchbox of my youngest, um, and he was heavily into sport. I mean, all my kids were heavily into sport. Last week I showed you the middle one and his favourite lunchbox idea, and this week I'm gonna show you the oldest. A girl, so I've got a girl and two, two boys, and I'm gonna show you her favourite lunchbox idea. So, let's go. Okay, so we're using the Yum Box, but this is the tapas size, so it's a little bit bigger. Now, we love these little waffles. Now, you can get these in little packs of two. I like to chop them up so that they're almost like mini waffles. And um, so just stack them all together for now, and we're gonna put them aside. Um, but we're going to do something fun with them because they are a bit like sort of um, pancakes, that kind of thing. And so we're just going to put those aside. Next up, we've got the bread. Now this is just wholemeal bread, but it can be whatever bread of your choice. My oldest absolutely loves Philadelphia. Um, so we used to either do just Philadelphia or Philadelphia with cucumber, Philadelphia with jam, Philadelphia with honey, Philadelphia with, um, what else did we do? Banana or sometimes banana and honey is really really nice anyway we're leaving the crusts on because she's that little bit older and we're just going to cut these into i'm trying initially with fingers but actually with the yum box it's better if you just cube them so again i wanted to make it all bite size so it's just super easy for them to eat because they don't have a lot of time at lunchtime even if they are a little bit older i think sometimes it's nice to just be able to just graze and not really think about it so we're going to just chop them up extra small. You can see this lunch box, it's bigger than the previous ones that I've been doing um, because we have got videos here from uh, using the original or the panino and this one is the tapas. Now you know the trick that I like to do which is a colourful serviette so we're going to pop that into that larger compartment and what's really nice is these little uh, waffles they do actually fit if you cut them up and put them in alongside then we're going to get a, some icing sugar and just do a little dusting of that little sprinkle on the top and then we're going to you can either put in the blueberries as you go along or do another layer and then put the blueberries in on top of that so again it is almost like pancakes with icing sugar and blueberries and if you haven't tried that combination I really highly recommend it it's also really nice with um, sliced toasted almonds as well but obviously stay clear if you've got any sort of nut allergies or anything like that and you know with this idea as well if you are dairy intolerant you can get other spreads but you can put whatever sandwich filling of your choice in here so I just wanted to put in some of the blueberries and just alternate them just make it a little bit more sort of visually appealing and then there's space down the side where you can put in all of the ones that you need for the lower level so um, now don't forget to put in a pick or something like that to make it super easy to eat now Satsuma is another firm favorite as well and that's where I just chop it all up or rather peel it and get all the little bits off as much as possible because that's just another objection if they don't want to eat it. Um, cucumber I've done into chunks. Now you could just put it straight into the that compartment but I wanted to squeeze something else in as well. So in go the cucumber sticks. You could easily do carrot sticks as well. That was another favorite of hers. Fruit wise, she, she loves um, raspberries and strawberries as well. But this particular idea, this is what literally what I had in the fridge. And um, there'd be many a day where, you know, you do just need to use up your leftovers or whatever. So this idea is really to inspire you that actually you can make colorful things. Now, these um, little mini jammy dodgers, do check out the, it's one of my favourite lunchbox ideas with the bumblebee, that's what I'm pointing to on the wrapper, the, the bumblebee, and also there's lots of flower ideas as well. So if you do love nature as much as I do, then do check those links above. And that's it, you can see it's super quick, super easy. She loves giraffes and um, safari animals. So we're just going to put a couple of those picks in and there you have it. I mean, super quick, super easy and a family favorite so if you haven't subscribed do make sure you hit subscribe like the video and 
really hope you like Lunchbox World. I mean, this is the Lunchbox Lady and we are here to help and inspire you and to help you stay connected with your kids. So you'll have seen I put the links above so you can check out the other videos in case you did miss them. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification so you don't miss a trick. Check out all the action points below as well because you know we've got so much on this channel now and also you know we, we've got a website and a whole load of other goodies so be sure to grab your freebie. You know it can be a real bind packing lunches day in day out you know and it's I'm here to help you stay out of that lunchbox rut and also to kind of inspire and excite you and to help you stay connected with your child or children or your family, you know, and to have that good relationship with food as well because, you know, we're trying to set them up for life, aren't we? So if you like this video and you like these kind of ideas, I think you're going to like these videos next. So see you in the next video and let's keep having fun packing those lunches. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.